Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new review for Princess Principal episode number 10. We finished this episode with a cliffhanger. Well, it's not really a surprising cliffhanger if you think about the opening movie, but it's still a cliffhanger and I'm really curious to see what they will do with it in the remaining last two episodes. By the end of this episode we had a nice flashback of the so-called farm, basically the training facility for spies. And at this time there were only three kids or girls left. It was Dorothy, Angie and the one they called Incho. And she was Incho was always number two because Angie was, well, number one and Dorothy, well, Dorothy is Dorothy. You know, the way we love her. And in this episode they had to check out something to infiltrate a building and getting some documents. And the thing is, it wasn't the only mission that was going on. There was another one. And that was basically checking if the angel was a double agent, which he was, and she died at the end of the episode. Nothing really that surprising. Dorothy, well, she... Dorothy was... I kind of want to hug her because she just couldn't get her on her side anymore and then the one she considered as a friend died and there was a whole lot going on with the double agent stuff and also the basically the feelings of Dorothy that to be honest I, sh I think she's really getting tired of all that seeing people dying, doing all the stuff and whatnot, and to be honest it's not really that surprising. I mean, it is in fact quite terrible and it's not a surprise that, well, you will get tired of it. It will wear you down and especially if you see people you know for ages you their friends with and then well they die in front of your eyes and it's really sad on one side and then we had the cliffhanger which was well yeah it was kind of strange because after the mission and the way Angie found out that into a double agent, basically they, when they were partying, going to drink after the first mission that was successful, Inja went to the bathroom and Beatrice and Angie, they disappeared. Dorothy was continued drinking with Inja and then Inja got home and she set up a trap to look if someone was spying on her. And Angie she found or realized it and they she was trolling her. She was putting her marks on on purpose so that she is forced to make a move. To which Angie confronted her and kind of failed. Dorothy got quite angry about it because the actual plan was to surround her but Angie didn't wait. And then Injo got a train, but Dorothy caught up on her and also Angie was on the train. And it looks like that the sea ball Angie is carrying around it's actually unique because judging what Injo said it's that well yeah there were rumors about it and it was that team that got it and 
the way she was commenting on it as well, like, well, yeah, it kind of means that they think highly of you, and Dorothy was like, well, yeah, they think highly of Angie. So, when they finished it and we found out that Angel wanted actually to be like Dorothy, even though she was quite a rival of Angie, but it looks like she didn't care about the grades at the farm or other stuff. She just wanted to be like Dorothy. A free-spirited person like Dorothy is, and I can kind of see why. And then when she died, the Dorothy was kind of sad, obviously. And... Then they went back to the headquarters of the their bosses, and there was a new one. The previous one isn't there anymore. And something was strange, right? Because, well, he was, the previous one was a guy who was kind of curious to see what was with the princess. But now the new guy, he gave a new assignment to Dorothy and Angie. We put a picture on the table and yeah. The reaction of Dorothy was a bit surprising. She didn't think it would be like this. And Angie you couldn't see anything, she was just staring down at the photograph on the table and yeah, that's basically it. And the way it was a reaction, I don't really want to say it, but come on, it's so obvious who the target is. If you watched the opening, I mean I'm watching it all the time because the song is pretty damn good and yeah I'm really curious to see how they are going to wrap it up with the last two episodes and what will Angie do well I don't really have to question that but it would be to be honest it would be one hell of a surprising end if it if they would well yeah, go for that mission. If Angie really did it, I don't know what they will do, but yeah, it's it's crazy and I can't wait for the next episode because this show is so good. It's so thrilling and I'm on the edge of my seat all the time. And the opening is fantastic. The same as the soundtracks. Yuki Kajiura is just one of the best ones. So yeah, these are my thoughts on episode number 10 for Princess Principal. I really liked it, I really liked the bits of the past from the training facility. And then what happened in this episode. And I just can't wait for the next one. So yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope I will see you guys next time as well. Have a great time! Adios!